Just a quick warning, I'll be talking a little bit more in this video than usual. What we have here is sets of uh, closed loop Nemo 34 with their controllers. Initially, when I was building my CNC, I had a bunch of open loop stepper kicking around, so I used them to save some money, which was the wrong decision. After a few months, I had issue with step skipping in a couple occasions, and that meant a uh, scrap part. And also, after seeing how rigid this machine turned out, I realized I can push its limit if I had a closed loop system. Now, comparing open, open loop to closed loop system, there are a lot of nice videos out there that explains that. I'm just gonna go through a few key points. Closed loop system, they run a lot faster. They provide a lot more torque. They run cooler and they are more efficient. And the most important part, since they have encoder built in them, and they communicate with their controller with this uh, port, the controller knows when a step happens or not. If a step is lost, the controller stops the step in the motor and gives out an error. So your main controller knows to stop the operation. All right, now let me just take this cover off and we'll dig in. Now, since I have the cover off, I will give a quick tour and answer some of the questions that I have been asked and was not clear on build video. Starting from base or Y axis, it is 13 by 32 inches. It's made of an uh, inch and a quarter solid steel plate. It's been bolted and also welded down just keep it as rigid as possible and whole thing is bolted on very heavy duty table with solid top. I stayed away from any hollow framing because of uh, stiffness and noise issues. So as much as I could, I used solid uh, steel plates. Down here we have 20 millimeter Y-axis uh, ball screw, one of the limit switches and ball screw block bearing. One thing I did with this uh, block bearing, I took out that uh, cheap bearing they come with them and I replaced them with the uh, angular contact bearing. And as far as travel goes, I get 12 inches of uh, wide travel. Now moving up to x-axis base, uh, so the dimensions are 36 inches by 11 inch made of inch and a quarter solid plate. As far as travel goes for x-axis, I get around 22 inches. All the rails, ball screws are from eBay and my uh, bay covers are from AliExpress. That was one of the questions been asked before. Another point out are these couplers. These are Roland zero backslash couplers. So they're not cheap, but I'm very happy with them. Uh, they hold very well. There is no backsplash, no matter how fast or how much of torque you're applying, and they work great. Table is 18 by 12 inch thick and is made of uh, A514 steel. I do have some uh, half inch treads and also I have quarter inch precision holes for align my uh, wise and uh, fixture plate. Now Z column is uh, made of 32 by five by eight tube with a half inch wall thickness and uh, filled with concrete for extra rigidity. 
and reinforced with one inch solid plate so the rails can mount on. Z travel is uh, around 11 to 12 inches, depending on the tool I'm using. Moving up to spindle head, it's nine by six by 10 with two removable one inch precision grind plates. The reason I did this in case if I use different size spindle clamp or spindle, or if I end up using some kind of gearbox in future, this way there will be extra room if I need it and I don't have to change the whole thing. Just simply I can add or remove these plates which they are solid and they're precision grinded. Okay, a lot of question was about the spindle. Size wise, it's around 18 inches long five and a half inches in diameter. It can go up to 18,000 RPM, have an automatic tool changer, and it is, uh, and it uses 30 taper tools. One advice I have for uh, anybody who's uh, building their machine, if you're planning on building a heavy duty and a stiff system and want to cut steel or uh, heavy cuts of aluminum, don't cheap out on your spindle. Smaller and cheaper spindle have to run very high RPM and they have small shafts and bearing. Therefore, they are not suitable for uh, steel or even aluminum. Do your research and don't let your spindle be the weakest part of your machine. To keep the spindle cool, I made this uh, cooling system and it's been working great. A card here for a full build and uh, it's super simple to make. And actually this is the uh, VFD for spindle. It's just eBay brand and I haven't had any issue with them. It runs perfectly. Now the counterbalance system. Because spindle head and spindle end up being almost 100 pound, I built this system that takes the load off of stepper motor. It's simply a steel container filled with melted lead and is mounted on linear uh, rail. As far as electronics, I'm using PMDX uh, for breakout board and PMDX 407 for spindle speed controller. And also I'm using just generic uh, power supplies and these controllers, which I will be upgrading them soon to uh, closed loop. As far as software, I run a Mach 4 hobby. And this is how I uh, store my tools. I have a uh, room for element tools and this tool holder. Now I'm just going to answer a few questions again, it's been asked. Uh, people are asking about CAD files. Unfortunately, uh, when I designed this machine, uh, I only did the CAD file for, uh, just for my own visualization, and I didn't put no uh, technical element to it, as I was just doing this uh, with manual mill. So I didn't think of that, and uh, at this point, I don't have a technical drawing for this. There was a question if I'm gonna add any automatic tool changer. Uh, at this point, what I do with this machine, I don't need to have that. I will love it, but not at this point. What I'm going to do, since my uh, breakout board only has a four independent motor output, I'm gonna save that, and I'm in process of building a real heavy duty uh, fourth axis for this, which soon will be in future video. Uh, how do I edge find? Uh, initially, I start with uh, edge finding with just simply your edge, uh, typical edge finder. And then I move to a uh, more like electronic or power edge finder. But a few weeks ago, I gave in and I sold my first child and I got this Heimer. It's been a game changer. I can edge find with this, I can measure I can uh, indicate it's, it replaces almost three tools and I'm very, very happy with this. I think it's worth the price. I also been asked how I made my X and Y 
perpendicular to each other. So simply I use this uh, 10 by 15 precision granite square. So how I did it, uh, I put the granite on my uh, working table and I made it perfectly aligned with my x-axis. Flip your indicator without touching your square. Once you run this, now without touching your uh, square, any imperfection, you have to adjust your whole X axis carriage. So in my case, case I have eight half inch bolts that's holding this uh, my ax, uh, axis uh, carriage right uh, on top of uh, Y so basically I, I would have loosened those and slowly will adjust them until I get tolerance that I am happy with and now what I'm going to do take a few minutes and upgrade those steppers to closed loop and do some test runs and uh, get back to you guys Welcome back. We got our uh, system upgraded to closed loop steppers and drivers. Also, since these uh, controllers, they have uh, alarm output, I have wired this to my uh, breakout board. This way, if any of the motors loses step, uh, Mach 4 will know and will stop the whole operation. Here's a quick before and after speed test. Now with the closed loop, I can push it up to 250, 260 inches per minute before it triggers alarm. Okay. Hope this video helps to clarify and answer some of the questions I had from you guys in the last few months. Uh, if you have any question or comment, please feel free to reach out and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.